Hey there, fancy friends, it's Oliver, and this video is all about this sexy small sword. In the past, the foil was the training tool for the small sword, or later for the dueling sword. But, especially in France, its practice got more and more into a sport for everyone. And the French fencers recognized that this practice is not good preparation for actual duels, and so the Epe was born. A fencing practice back to the bloody roots. One could argue that history repeats itself and the modern Epe went the same road as the foil does before. So why did I tell you this little piece of history? Because this is a foil. As well as this. And this. All three are no weapons at all. All of them were training tools for the actual weapon. Let me show you. This is a training tool. It has no point and it's bendable. And this is the actual weapon. It is pointy and it's not very bendable. 22 weapon. But now back to the modern foil. If you imagine an Italian foil, it has very large rings like a rapier and the fencer put two of his fingers into it. Then we have the French style small sword, which have also rings. But they are just decorative and you do not put a single finger through it. And this is the Italian small sword, but it has somewhat smaller rings and you won't be able to grab it as the foil. But you will get one finger into if you want. And you should. Okay, I admit I was a little bit disappointed, but after holding it right, I just fall in love. It is a very wonderful design and the maker really knows what he was doing. This results of two main aspects. First, there is a very large and big false recasso. And if you put your fingers in, you will instantly notice that the shape is no coincidence. It is a smooth and comfortable place for your thumb and your index finger. And second, we have a cross. And at the first view, one might think this is accidentally bent in different directions. But once again, if we have an eye on it, This shape fits perfectly with your index finger as well as with the part on the other side. And together with the fourth Ricasso, it's like the small sword makes love with your hand. Who did this design, you ask? I don't know, but this book is published by Jacopo Jacoponi and um, he's a true fencing enthusiast and you see he loves what he's doing. The book contains five antique swords with wonderful and detailed photos of swords, rapiers, small swords and it has measurements for every corner of the blade and hilt you want to know. I will put you a link to the book in the description. One of the pieces is this and uh, Jacopo decides to do a replica in brass and he sells them for a very small amount of money as I think. 
Um, sure, the weight in brass is different as the weight in steel, but since you do not have the exact blade, it is what it is. And uh, I used a short epee blade by Leon Paul to simulate more a thrust only small sword. Um, and the balance fit also very well. If you check out Jakobo's social media, you will find some very nice versions he had put together uh, with some very nice grips in leather and wire. I just got the breast parts, so I had to look for a nice solution. Luckily, Marcus wanted one too, as he saw I was interested in it, because he was crazy enough to take the book, use all the measurements, to create a grip closer to the original than I expected. Yes, this is 3D printable and I will put you a link in the description as well. It's for free and if you want to give something back, just wrote thanks to Marcus in the comments because he did a great job and you can support our channel with it. So two for one. Yeah, and if you want to see this in action, have a look at our small sword series somewhere like here and uh, see you in the next video.